Hi, this is Wagner attorney Stuart Erickson. Today we're going to talk about parties to a crime. Uh, and Oklahoma law spells it out in Title 21, Section 171. They call it classification of parties to crimes. And there's two. There's principles and there are accessories. Here's how the law defines principles. So, and it can be confusing to people, uh, but all persons concerned in the commission of a crime, whether it be a felony or a misdemeanor, and whether they directly commit the act or aid and abet in its commission, though not present, are principles. So, principles are going to be anybody who commits the crime or anybody who actively aids and abets them and helps them. Uh, so again, uh, the classic example is going to be a, a planned bank robbery. And the plan is three people are going to go in with guns. One person's going to be a lookout at the door and one person's going to be in the driver's seat ready to drive them off. Uh, so in that scenario, everybody's a principal. The driver drove them there and is going to aid in the bet in getting them there and getting them away. The lookout, although he's not in there demanding a, a bank teller to turn over the money with a gun, he's there to look out to make sure the crime tries to go smoothly. And, and of course, it's obvious the ones going in with the guns demanding the money and getting the money would be would be the criminals. But, but under the law, all of those people are principals and all would be uh, tried the same, punished the same, found guilty or innocent the same, all of it. Uh, so, so that, that, you know, that is very important to be known because people don't seem to not always understand the, the law. And of course, it's, it's, I understand that. And if you aid in a bet, you're like, I didn't do it. But the state of Oklahoma will say, but yeah, you helped, you aided, you abetted. And under the law, you're all treated equally. So that's very important to know, this, this, this aid and abet thing. Now, an accessory is somebody who more helps uh, after the fact. They weren't aiding and abetting. The actual crime they didn't participate in the actual crime but they do something after the fact like they help to uh conceal or aid after the fact so it wouldn't even be like the getaway driver that that's actively in the crime uh you know somebody who helps conceal or hide the money uh after the fact would be an accessory uh so and of course to be an accessory you have to know that they committed the crime uh, so if you're a person somewhere else and you take the money and hide it and you know they committed the crime, you know, you'd be an accessory. So an accessory is mainly concealing or aiding uh, a person hide their crime, get away with the crime, uh, you know, escape arrest, that sort of thing. And it would be, uh, and it's got definitions in the law. So to aid is to render overt personal assistance, okay? To conceal, to hide or prevent discovery. Okay. Knowledge, of course, is personal awareness of the facts. So all, all of these uh, distinguishing uh, labels are important. Uh, principles, except accessories, aiding and abetting, they all have different consequences and, and different uh, levels of liability and, and sentencing ranges and all that sort of thing. Uh, as with all cases, they're very fact specific. So you have to reach out to an attorney and we can discuss uh, all of that. So if you have any other questions, reach out to me, Stuart Erickson at WagnerLawyer.com. Thanks.